Welcome back to Bonjour Sports Talk live on Prime and on Amp. Madeline Burke, Reed Fowler, and Amani Toomer live in New York City on Wednesday, May 17th. And hey, if you ever need to step away from the TV and can't watch us on Prime, don't forget you can also listen to Sports Talk live on Amp Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, Amp, of course, is a live audio app where you can actually join the sports conversation as it happens. Just head over to the App Store, download Amp, and follow at PV Sports Talk or simply ask Alexa play sports talk on amp welcome back to the show we've got a great show for you today we've got a great lineup and very excited to welcome in our next guest he is a player a broadcaster a general manager a man who wears many hats in the world of the pro pickleball association welcome to the show bonjour dave fleming hey thank you so much hey, for joining dave. us this morning dave <laughs> Bonjour to you. How are you guys? Let's talk some pickle. <laughs> so excited to talk pickleball right now. We've gotten a lot of pickleball guests on this week, and it has been so incredible to watch the way the sport is just sweeping the nation, sweeping the world. Um, I'm so curious, though. You wear so many hats in the sport. How do you switch gears from the booth to the court to the front office? How do you keep it all to, uh, keep it all straight? Yeah, definitely have to remember what role I'm playing on that particular day, but I think the you know, the big thing, and it's such a privilege for me, is to be part of a sport that is just on fire, that so many people are loving. I think, you know, my my play enables me to be a better broadcaster, and knowing the players enables me to be a better general manager. So the three parts all work together really well, but the, the thing I love is being able to share my knowledge of the game in the broadcast booth, and I can't wait to do it this weekend on your fine network prime i can't wait to do it absolutely and you said you wanted to teach during your broadcast so what would you teach the novice the non-believer the never watched pickleball but what would you teach them what would be the first like pickle 101 you know first of all just learn the rules as a tennis player i came in and i didn't know what this no volley zone is what are you talking about you got to you got to close. They talked about a kitchen. I didn't see any appliances anywhere. What are we talking about here? So, uh, you know, learn the rules, learn the scoring, and just see the unbelievable athleticism of our top athletes. It's going to be on display this weekend. And, you know, your neighbors are probably talking about it. They're probably out there playing. And once you see the top level, I think a lot of people will aspire to play themselves. Now you talk about you talk about the different hats that you play. You also you're the general manager of the Dallas Pickleball Club and the Seattle Pioneers of Major League Pickleball. Like how does that work? How do you how do you get all these personalities together? How do you keep it so that you're not favoring one team over the other if you get a player that comes in that you want to put on? How do you figure all this stuff out alongside with broadcasting alongside of all the other stuff you do at pickleball? GM is a full-time job for one team. You're doing it for two. How do you make it all work? Yeah, you got to budget your time, Imani, that's for sure. Uh, you know, the I am not the general manager of two teams in the same division, yeah. just to be clear, so I don't have a favorite child. Mm -hmm. uh, but I certainly am keeping track of all the great players, as you can see, the amazing play on the court right there. And I think you have to understand, and it's no different than any business or any other sports team, you have to find the right blend of personalities. You have to find two players, especially doubles, is so important in the pickleball world, who can play well with another person because the two best players aren't always the best team. So that's a big part of the general manager role. And it's a real job. I mean, I've had to cut a person. and. That's not fun, but that's the realities of this because this is a lot of people's dream and hope to be a professional pickleball player. And I hold the keys in some in some ways to that dream. So it's not a position I take lightly. I have a quick follow up. You said two divisions. Explain the different divisions in, ter in the two different divisions that you're working in, because I, I kind yeah, of went so, over my head a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So in uh, Major League Pickleball, there's a top end it's sort of like european soccer there's a top end and then a second division so that's why i am able to be a general manager in both and not have a conflict of interest which we would never want to have absolutely and it's it's so interesting right so many people are just discovering the sport as pickleball is becoming so much bigger on on any stage you have already won several titles as a player in pickleball how did you first discover and fall in love with the sport 
Yeah, I was a high-level tennis player, and my doubles partner's wife ran their rec program at their church, and she said, hey, come play pickleball. And this was uh, six years ago, and I'm like, I have no idea what you just said, but <laughs> I'll do it. And uh, we came and we broke every rule ever. Uh, but the tennis translated pretty well to pickleball. And it was so fun. And, you know, what's great about pickleball is you can have an eight-year-old on the court with an 80-year-old. And it's such a community. And I just fell in love with it. And I thought my tennis would, would translate well. Love to hit my two-handed backhand. That works beautifully in pickleball. And... The next thing you know, I was playing in, in high-level tournaments, and who knew that there was something called senior pro at 50 years old? People would pay me to play a sport? Come on. How <laughs> great is this? So uh, it's been an absolute privilege to be someone that uh, gets to be the mouthpiece of a sport that is on fire, and I get to play it at a high level and talk about it and share it with you, and it's, it's, it's truly a dream come true. Dave, you mentioned that you, you have a tennis background and now you're in the pickleball. We've heard that a couple of times now from, from players that are currently on the tour. Jack Sock, Sam Query, they're joining the tour as former tennis players. I mean, we know that there's a natural progression, but how do you feel? Do you see more of that coming through? Yeah, I think we will. Uh, I had the privilege of calling Jack Sock, who's a friend's debut in the pro pickleball world last week, and he is a unicorn, just to be clear. He is a absolute stud doubles player in tennis and that is what elements you need to bring to pickleball he has great hands he's used to poaching and he loves pickleball and what he said is he wants to be you know that bridge between tennis and pickleball and i hate it whenever there's any discussion about one versus the other i want the word and to be used there so i think as the money grows as the ability to see our sport on great networks and great places and streaming on prime this weekend that is really going to get a lot of people's attention if you're number 500 in the world in in tennis that's a really tough life so you may think that your tennis will translate to pickle but i can tell you the top pro pickle athletes are something else so it's not easy jack is a, a freak and uh, i expect we'll see more of him he won a title in his very first event that's how good he was yeah, Dave, well, I hear a lot of the pickle, uh, pickleball players talking to tennis players, and, they ha and there's like a resistance. What, what is that resistance? Why are so many tennis players so dead set against this pickleball when it's kind of, it's not, a, it's, like you say, it's an extension of the racket sport. Why, why is there such a, t tell us what are some of the conversations you have with a tennis player when you approach them about t pickleball. Why are they so apprehensive? Yeah, I mean, I think sometimes it's new, you know, certainly in some places, tennis courts have been switched over to pickleball courts. And I understand why that would be frustrating for a tennis player. But as a lifelong tennis player, I always show the benefits of both. And, and I think once people see that and, and see just the joy that pickleball brings to so many people, it's a lifestyle. I mean, this is this is something that's getting the country moving and it's fun and it does not have to be an or it should be an and and once you try it i don't know anyone that's quit pickleball i mean that's how much fun people are having with it so i always steer them to the positive parts of pickleball and you know for the most part i think people have really started to embrace it absolutely it's been something that uh, that's the one word we hear consistently is how much fun people are having playing this sport dave fleming thank you so much for taking part of your morning to talk with us about pickleball and good luck this weekend we'll be seeing some pickleball right here on prime video we look forward to seeing much more success from you as well thanks so much for having me guys and for having the carvana ppa tour on prime video can't wait thanks again cannot wait and i love it as dave said hey you don't see any appliances out there what's with this kitchen, kitchen. but right here <laughs> but you know what we are educating fans as well because like you said amani a lot of people are saying oh well tennis is this how is pickleball that but you know what the more you know the more you I find out when he said no one's quit pickleball right that was a beautiful like if some if you talk about the conversations that'd be the one thing that i would say and i would just walk away yeah, nobody's saying Walk away. this is a pickleball perfect. racket drop. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Pickleball <laughs> dropped. Racket <laughs> drop. All right, well, we're quick, taking a quick time out. After the break, we're going to turn our attention to the association, the host of the Carrie Champion Show, Ooh. Carrie Champion herself, in studio with us live on Bonjour Sports Talk. Madeline Burke, Reed Fowler, and Amani Toomer will be back with more after this.